Hello, it's March 22nd for the Project Simplify update. I'm going to talk a little bit about expectations today. Uh, it's something that's come up in the last week a couple of times, and uh, it never ceases to amaze me how predictable we are when we think we know how something's going to go and then it doesn't go that way. Ah, freak out! Oh my gosh, it doesn't make sense. So two ways that you can work with this. Uh, so one example is I was working with a client and she was she sat down to do some bank reconciliations in QuickBooks. And when she opened up the bank rec reconciliation screen, the beginning balance didn't match. Uh, it, it wasn't what it was supposed to be. It wasn't what we had closed it out to be the last time we'd worked on it. And it just messed up her whole data entry expectation. So she emailed me, it was incredibly frustrated, she said, I don't know what to do, blah, blah, blah. So I went over there, we fixed it and everything. And when I left, I said, this was the best part of the whole session, really, uh, besides the fact that we got it fixed, was that what she could have done at that time when it didn't match was when she felt herself getting frustrated, step away from the computer and go for a short walk. She lives on this beautiful property and going for a short walk is just heavenly. Then switch her mindset. So get out of the data entry mindset and get into problem solving mindset. So then she could approach the computer, approach the program with an attitude of, okay, something's not right here and I'm going to figure it out. And when I said that, when I suggested that as uh, an opportunity to not be incredibly frustrated, she just had an aha, an oh moment of, oh, that would have been so, it would have made so much more sense. So by not thinking about it as data entry time anymore, but problem solving time, her head could make the shift and know what to expect as far as moving forward. The other one that came up recently uh, had to do with someone who is considering changing her billing rates. She's an independent contractor and uh, she was going to um, well change her rates and I said as, as someone receiving your services I just want to know what to expect. One, her rates are incredibly low, incredibly affordable and so as long as I know that she's planning on changing her rates then I can make adjustments both mentally but also budget wise. I know that I need to budget X more a month. Then over that time period if she says okay in two months I'm going to be raising my rates to this, this is what you can expect, then it's easy for me to make that shift with her as opposed to if she just changes her rates and says sends me a bill and says oh by the way I changed my rates then my head doesn't deal with that information as well. It's like oh why didn't you tell me what's going on and that leaves a bad taste in my mouth as far as working uh, with someone in that way. Those are my two thoughts on expectations for the week. I hope you have a wonderful week. Signing off from ProjectSimplify.com.